Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombie Girl. And this is our review of The Walking Dead 5 inch scale 3 pack, which is called the Limited Edition Allies 3 pack of Rick, Daryl, and Jesus. Now, as all of you know, there's not a whole lot of 5 inch Walking Dead figures coming out anymore. And Jesus is one of the few new, completely new ones. And to get them, you got to buy two repaints of Rick and Daryl, which kind of sucks to have to do that. But at least they're painted a little differently. Daryl is not too much different, but I think his shirt is different. Painted differently a little bit. But we'll do a comparison. But I believe this is from when they first meet. Daryl doesn't come with a crossbow, and I don't know. I don't remember the scene. Maybe he didn't have his crossbow in that scene. But he don't come with one, from what I can see. But... Still, it's fun. It's cool to finally get another character from the show. I don't know if there's going to be any more because even the Walking Dead show is going down in popularity. So I don't know how much more we're going to get in five inch skill or even seven inch skill. I mean, there's supposed to be a Maggie and a new Rick, but I don't know, man. Okay, but here it's back. You can see you got this old Daryl. Why are they even showing this? This is. Really old Daryl 10 inch figure. There's a 10 inch Negan, and then you got the 7 inch figures here. They're showing it because they don't have any new shit to show. Yeah, I guess that must be why. <laughs> I think the Walking Dead line is, it might not be dead yet, but it's dying. Worse than before, I think. But uh, it's a nice art on there. Zombie up there. Rick Barrel and Jesus. And the zombies there. Okay, let's open this up. So there they are, open up. They each come with accessories. Looks like Rick comes with just his revolver. Daryl comes with a knife and a gun. And Jesus comes with a bunch of stuff. Sort of a bunch of stuff. He comes with a, a rifle and two extra hands and a handgun. So I guess we'll go over Jesus first. Cause he's a new guy, the one I want to see most. I think they, for the most part they did a good job on him. I mean, it pretty much looks like him. The face, well, I don't know if the face is quite right. It's like something off about the face, but it still looks in general like him. You think? I don't think it really looks like him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, something's not right. I don't know what it is. Yeah, he's got his hair hanging down. He does look like his name should be Jesus. Got they gave him really rosy cheeks for some reason. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what's going on with his uh, jacket here, but it's like all puffed up. It makes it look like he's got a gut. Like it's all weird looking there. Like the way the belts are. Like, I don't know. It just looks funny. I think maybe it's supposed to be like his pockets sticking out because his coat's puffy, but it, it just looks weird. Yeah. Almost looks like he feels like he stuffs stuff up, up in his shirt and I don't got know. a pillow strapped under those belts. Yeah. But, I'm not Jesus, I'm Santa. Ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Explain the rosy cheeks. <laughs> yep. But uh, I like his trench coat. Looks cool. And this is very similar to the comic look of him. Which that was cool when he did that. I like his boots. There's a puppy in here making noises, so if you hear noises. But, uh. <laughs> He's eating my hand. But yeah, I like the way they did his boots. That looks cool. <laughs> so here is the comic version of Jesus. The comic Jesus also had the hat at one point, but not for this figure right now. But you can see how similar they are. They got the long trench coat, the sort of Jesus look to them. The little belts strapped across them. There's a lot of similarities. The later Jesus is a lot different because he's got the uh, armor on and then the little man bun. But like we're saying, he comes with the assault rifle, which uh, is cool, I guess. So many assault rifles in my little 
bin of assault <laughs> rifles. <laughs> then he's got the handgun. Got a ton of these too. Then here's the alternate hands. I guess these are the uh, like the uh, calm hands where he's trying to calm me down. Like, hey everybody, let's not fight each other. Let's be friends. Don't be mad just because I'm trying to steal your truck full of supplies. <laughs> and then he comes with looks like handgun or rifle hands. Got trigger fingers. That's cool. And here is Rick. This time he comes in a blue shirt. And what's another thing different about this and the other two versions of this sculpt is they gave him the gray beard this time. It's old man Rick. Yeah. So that's cool. But that's basically the only difference is the paint. Like he's got the blue shirt, painted white underneath, and then he's got the, the white paint into his beard. You know what I never noticed before? What? No one in the plaid shirt's got some big old eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the face on this one's painted the best though. Yeah. This one's horrible. This one's a little better, but a little less detailed, I guess. But this one is good. I think this is the best painted Rick out of these three. Yeah, I would agree. Even his hair's painted better. Yeah. Yeah, I like the the head on this one. That's probably one of the best Rick heads with that paint there. I do have to say though, I don't know how much it shows on camera, but there's almost kind of like a grayish tone showing through on his skin paint. Yeah, I see that. I don't know what that is. That's weird. But the paint on this shirt's good. I like the highlights and a little bit of shading on there. It looks pretty good. It looks like it's a little sloppy on that white part of his shirt. Or the white shirt underneath. You get that on his pants, it's the same thing. A nice paint on there. That looks weird. Are they all like that? I guess so. I never noticed that. That weird little... Like Double bump wrist, there. Wrist thing going on. Yeah, how the hell I never noticed that before. That is, his wrist just looks so weird. It's like that on Daryl too. Yeah. I guess it's just been so long since I messed with these figures. <laughs> but then he comes with this revolver. Like he should. So here's a Daryl that's a repaint again. One thing that's kind of weird to me is this is the older Daryl. Like this Daryl just Exactly the same, just repainted from what I can tell. And what's weird is they came out with this Daryl, which had a much better face sculpt. They made him too tan, but I mean, his face sculpt was better. So I don't know why they went back to this one again. But they did. Yeah, I definitely prefer this head. But. I like the colors better on this one because they made his vest like brown here, but here they made it black like it should be. So that's cool. And they painted his shirt underneath black instead of this tan color. So at first I thought his shirt was just darker, but it's actually supposed to be a checkered shirt. And it's not painted very well. They basically just made the shirt a dark color and then painted some black squares on there. And uh yeah, that's all he did was just, just put the black squares. Hmm. They did a pretty nice job in this old Rick's shirt, so I don't know why they got so lazy with this one. His pants, I think, are supposed to be black, but they almost look purple. It's weird. And they just kind of painted over the hole in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Pretended it wasn't there. And he's got silver buttons now instead of these copper-looking buttons. The hell's going it's on? the same damn vest. Can you not figure out what it looks like? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> but yeah, this face sculpt always just looked weird. Or maybe the paint messed it up. I don't know. They just, it still looks weird. Like he has, he does have squinty eyes, but they're like wrong kind of squinty here. They look weird. Yeah. Well, his sheath changed color too. Is his butt rag identical? Different color. Oh, it's more red. <laughs> <laughs> so here's his little knife, which looks like a butter knife. It looks like a butter knife. That so really looks like a butter knife. <laughs> but that could fit to his sheath. 
case you need some to butter <laughs> some, some muffins. Buttering. I'm gonna butter your biscuits, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says when he runs into battle. <laughs> and got that little handgun. Like I said, no crossbow this time, but I got like 20 crossbows, so I don't need another one. You can give him a goddamn crossbow if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I like I like the pain of this upper body better. The head, I don't, the, I like, I don't know. I, I like his skin tone better too, because even, like, the one's way too tan, and the other one's kind of tan. He's a little bit, tiny bit paler than him. Okay. So, I guess we do articulation. I'm not doing it for those two, because they've been done in other videos, because they're just re the same figure, just again. But him, he's different, so, see how he goes. Now, these, this hair is super flexible, so I ain't gonna mess with anything. It might point out in weird directions, though. Yeah. Yeah, the head can move pretty good. And up here, can move all right. Can't Sounds go. stiff. Yeah, can't go out very far, though. Then at the elbow, go about that far, it could spin. And the wrist, it could spin, and there's a hinge. Then the torso, I don't think you can do anything there. What just fell? Oh, this thing just fell off of him. A little so knife. Cheap? One of his knives fell off from somewhere. Well, that's a dumb. I don't even know where that came from. There's one there, there's one there. Where did the other one come from? Like in his ass or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fell out of somewhere. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, down at the hips. His jacket's kind of flexible, so it allows for him to kick out. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Can kick forward, oh, only about that far, because this hinders it. And then bend about that far. I can spin there. And I can spin down there to boot. That's all I can do. That's all the fur is like can bend. His knee. Yeah, that knee. Let's see about this one. Yep, <laughs> not That's very far. Really stupid. His hand just popped off. So those articulations is pretty limited at the torso. Well, most of the Walking Dead figures don't spin at the torso. But the hips can move more than I thought. The knees are very limited. Limited here with how far it can go up and down. So uh, the articulation's okay. It's not amazing. It really seems stupid that his shoulders can't move more since it would be covered by the jacket anyway. Yeah, I don't know why I can't. And here's Jesus next to Aaron. For no reason. <laughs> okay. So, I guess my opinion of this set is, I I don't like this set in general because I did not want to buy this Rick and this Daryl again, the sculpts. Although this, I think this Rick is painted better than the other two of this sculpt. So that I mean that's one cool thing. I don't care about the Daryl. I mean, it's... I do like his dark clothes, but I don't think it was worth paying for another one to get it. Yeah. And the last three-pack also had Rick and Daryl in it. It's Rick, Daryl, and Michonne. It's like, they're going to put Rick and Daryl in every single three-pack? I mean, if they're going to make more? I mean, I would have rather just bought Jesus by himself. But, I, I mean, I think they did it on purpose. They're trying to sell figure make some money off of it. I don't know. I guess they're assuming if they made just Jesus, he wouldn't sell. So they threw Rick and Daryl in there because they're popular. And for me personally, I think if they were going to do a three-pack, I would have rather had repaints of someone else because we have Ricks and Daryls coming out of our fucking ears. Mm -hmm. But they're the two <laughs> most popular. So, yeah, there's so many characters that need made, but it's just not going to happen now. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. But... The Jesus is all right. Just by himself, if this was just a review of the Jesus figure, I think he's okay. But I don't think the likeness is as good as most of the other figures. And he's got that weird thing going on with his stomach. But the rest of them's good, I guess. Articulation is a little eh. So, I don't know. I'm like, I, I like this set, but don't like it. I'm not that impressed by it. Well... Thanks for watching, goodbye. What's your name? My name's Paul.
Some of my friends call me Jesus. Okay, I got a few questions I want to ask you. How many walkers did you kill? Um, well, I'd say, how many people did you kill? Um, uh, uh, why? How many Daryls did you kill? How many Merles did you kill? How many Negans did you kill? How many chickens did you kill? How many bags of peanuts did you spill? How many hamsters on the hill? Do you have a good sense of smell? Do you think unicorns are for real? What do you think of Jessica Bill? Would you say that this shirt is teal? Remember when Zod told Superman to kneel? Is sticker sticking a difficult skill? Do you think it's wrong for people to eat and feel? When girls are underwater, can they use their vagina as a gill? Before the apocalypse, did you have a high electric bill? Hey Rick, I already said bill. You, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I said Jessica Beal. Oh, that's not spelled the same. Not really pronounced the same exactly. Hey, where'd he go? Uh, I don't know. Back, back, back to heaven. I would, I would assume. Yeah, probably. Well, I guess we can be, get back to Alexandria. I have an excellent sense of smell. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you can subscribe, Nate! Oh!